When we started the choral workshop, one of the aims was to provide choral students with the resources that Adam himself would have loved when he first started to learn over 20 years ago. The drive to teach people the Chora came from the belief that as more people try to learn, greater respect will be attributed to the compositions of the great Jalis. Originally, we created a simple tuition CD, which has now been replaced with this comprehensive and growing series of video tutorials. Each tutorial includes video of Adam teaching you the song, with an accompanying animated graphic indicating exactly which note is played. The graphic is an image of the bridge shown from the player's perspective. So for example, this string is the lowest note on your chora, the closest to you on the left. It will be animated throughout the tutorial so you can follow which strings to play, like this. That's followed by string number two on the left. Also included with every tutorial is an MP3 of Adam playing that song. Listening is generally a much underrated part of the learning process, but it is absolutely essential. Please listen to the song as much as possible, ideally before as well as whilst learning it. Also search for the song in YouTube to find a wealth of recordings to listen to. They can often be found under various spellings of the same name. There's lots of choral music available to buy, direct from musicians' websites, recommended albums on our own music page, Amazon, iTunes, etc. But remember that individual songs will often have different titles, so do some listening and research. The full recording is also played at the end of every tutorial. There are four tunings used in traditional choral music. Syllaba, Suata, Hardino and Tormosengo. Two of them, Syllaba and Hardino, are similar to a Western major scale, but with small variations in intonation. For convenience, these tutorials use a major scale, for pieces in Syllaba or Hardino. The version of Suata used is also tempered to Western tuning. Adam teaches using a chora tuned to F, and your chora must be tuned the same way. There is a fifth modern tuning referred to as Espanol, which you may well come across on some albums, for example by artists such as Seco Keita and Tamani Giovati. Many chora players create and experiment with tunings, and some, like Espanol, become popular and are used in the wider known repertoire. To get a taste of the original chorus sound, listen to music by previous generations. For example, Jali's such as Alaji by Conte, Amadou Ban Sangjibati, and Lalo Keba Drame. It's the sound of the chorus West African coastal origins. Here are the terms we use within the series. The Kumbengo is the basic riff or pattern of the song. Variations are what makes playing the chora more interesting and individual. There are no set ways to use them. Learn variations and use them however you want to. A break or transition can be used in between different variations of the kumbengo or just as decoration. All the tutorials cover more than one level, so some elements will be harder than others. This allows you to progress within just one tutorial. Later in the series we will produce more advanced lessons. Sit in any position you find comfortable, whether that be in a chair or on the floor. The most important thing is to be comfortable and relaxed. If you find your shoulders or your hands tensing up, consciously relax them. And remember to breathe. When a string breaks, you need to remove it completely and tie a new string of the relevant gauge onto the tail string, which is tied to the ring at the bottom of the chora. Here is how to make the knot. It is very important to use a knot that will not slip, as the wrong knot will make it impossible to keep in tune.
Once it is tied onto the tail string, for a modern machine head corer, it is just a matter of putting the string through the neck and the machine head spindle hole and winding it on. Pull the end of the string taut as you wind or you will end up with far too much string on the spindle and with the heavier strings you can find it seems to tune okay and then suddenly drop back because the string pops off the spindle. Changing the string on and even just tuning a traditional hide ring console cora is much more of a challenge, but we've included a video here of how to do it. It's a skill in its own right. You need a tool to open up the ring enough to allow you to put the string through, traditionally a loyo, but a strong, slim, flat head screwdriver will do, or as Adam has often resorted to, a kitchen fork. The advantage the hide rings offer is complete flexibility with the length and therefore the tension and gauge of the strings used. I'll explain. With a machine head you have a fixed length string. So for example our string sets are designed for medium sized corers tuned to F or G. If you wanted to tune the whole corer up, for example with that first bass note at A or higher, you would find strings start to break and you could put undue pressure on the machine heads or of the heavier strings. You would need to change the lighter strings. However, with a console corer, you can change the length of the string so that you can keep the same gauge. If you want to understand more, research how string instruments generally work. While it is possible to change string length on a concert cora, it doesn't mean it's easy. For the bass strings, tuning alone takes considerable physical strength. It will mean adjusting and readjusting the console positions, taking up or increasingly snack on the string as shown. For information on finding a teacher in your area, our workshops and our holidays, check out the website www.thecoraworkshop.com or join the Facebook group Learning Cora UK or Learning Cora Worldwide, which we established to enable students, teachers and players to share information, recordings and gigs. We hope you find the information in this introduction useful and enjoy using the tutorials to learn. We have more planned, some at advanced level and even a French version with Aluga Sama from Ziegenshaw, plus guest teacher sessions. If you have a suggestion or request, send us an email at info at or find us on Facebook. Music